What is up everybody, Gary Simon here. Today we are going to be doing yet another episode of the Rapid Redesign Show where I rapidly redesign three different elements of a user interface that were submitted by users from my Discord. So let's check out the three that we are going to be revamping, which is number one, number two, and finally, number three. All right, so as always, make sure to subscribe if you enjoy this. If you agree or disagree with any of my decisions, let me know in the comments. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. But wait one second before we get started, you're about to embark on a UI UX rapid journey, so to speak, in this video. Now, if you're really interested in UI design and you're a relative beginner, you should definitely check out my UI design bootcamp at scrimba.com. At scrimba, you don't just watch videos. No, no, no. You're actually able to modify code in the browser while you learn. My course on UI design features over 100 lessons that are specifically tailored to help you become an awesome UI designer, and they're packed with interactive challenges. So I can't stress this enough. If you are producing UI designs that just do not look good and you can't figure out why, I'm telling you the UI design bootcamp at Scrimba is definitely something you should check out. Click on the top link here in the YouTube uh, description and you'll get access to my bootcamp along with many other courses for a low monthly price. Let's get started. So this first century isn't terrible, but there are some issues with the navigation and just overall clutter with such a busy photograph being used as the entire background. So the first thing I do is use a different photograph because I wasn't able to use the original photograph as they baked in the overlay into the photograph itself. Now instead of making the photograph consume the entire layout, I decided to go with a two column approach with the important type behind the white background. Now another thing you might notice, they have a red vertical marker to the left of their subheading, which lacks a lot of contrast based on the background. Now their call to action buttons were a bit understated and while they distinguish the two call to actions from each other in terms of design, I feel the most important call to action, which usually resides to the left, should be the one that has the solid fill. Their navigation suffers from two issues. First, the background is just too busy, so it's hard to see the secondary navigation that's right aligned. Now second, their primary and secondary navigation aren't styled, styled differently enough from each other. The only difference is a slight separation of font size. So if you have a primary and sec secondary navigation like this, make sure you style them differently enough from each other. As you can see, I experimented with stylizing the photograph just to give it some character rather than just being a whole rectangle. I did also experiment with adding a scroll indicator icon, but I just didn't like how it was turning out, so I ended up removing it altogether. Plus, it's also just unnecessary in this context. Now this one has a nice color scheme, but there are issues with balance, white space, and typography. So let's see what we can do to improve this. The first issue that I'll address is the navigation. There's not enough white space around the entire nav bar itself, but there is too much white space between each individual nav item. So it makes the navigation feel seem too loose and disconnected. You don't want them too close, but you also don't want them too far away. Next up, for some reason, there's way too little white space above the primary content section and way too much beneath it. This makes it hard to focus on the headline, plus it's just unbalanced. 
I also experiment with font choices and colors. Using two different typefaces for labels, headings, and subheadings can be a bit of a tricky process, so it's worth taking your time and experimenting. Notice how on the original design, his photograph has his left arm cut off. This doesn't look good, so I decided to enlarge it and right align it to the edge of the design, which makes it look much more natural. I do love the orange color, so I experiment with different shapes to ultimately come up with something that resembles the original design. For the final redesign, we have a card section of a layout. Now this one is significantly lacking in both contrast and also some topography issues. When you have three contextually different pieces of type that are relatively close to each other, you need to make sure that they're both A, styled differently from each other to achieve good typographic visual hierarchy, and B, they're still readable with good contrast. I decided to create three different variations of the cards with different backgrounds. One isn't necessarily better than the other, but it's to show that you do have options. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that. You learned something new. Let me know what you think in the comments, if you disagree or you agree with any of my decisions, which one you think was the best redesign. Anyhow, if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.